Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of One Piece, which is on episode 1030. Now, this episode right here was actually pretty cool, you know, I mean, like, um, we're still in the filler arc, if anything, so... Although I, although it is filler, I'm starting to enjoy each and every episode of it, you know, and I can't wait to hopefully, like, um, see the new film One Piece Red. I don't know if it's just, just like, um, a build-up for everyone else, but I really hope the film gets released very soon, you know, but we'll have to see, you know, so if anything else, like, um, let's just get this started, you know? We had to it that, like, um, after the opening, you know, we have to it that Uta and Luffy end up having to hang out with each other, challenge each other through, like, um, swimming a barrel, and, you know, and then they end up seeing a sea monster, which is really freaking funny and hilarious, you know? And then we see to it, eventually, like, um, Luffy, Luffy and Uta make a pledge about making their new Genesis or something, you know, and something like that. I don't know, but one thing for sure is that Uta and Luffy, therefore, makes a big friendly fist bump and wants to see each other again, you know? Eventually, Luffy wanted to board on Shanks' ship, but unfortunately, it did not work out as usual. I mean, like, um, Shanks found him, or Uta found him and told Shanks about it, you know? And then, like, um, they end up having to, like, um, part separate ways in a reluctant, teasing manner. But... We have to it eventually when Luffy sees the ship of Shanks, you know, we have to it Luffy is actually excited and asks where's Uta, you know, and asks everyone else on the crew. However, they feel a little devastated or quiet about it, you know. We have to it that Luffy asks Shanks where Uta is and, and, and Luffy's like, hey, it can't be, right? What happened to her? And then Shanks therefore tells Luffy, hey, don't worry about it, kid. I mean, like, um, Uta left to become a singer. This devastated Luffy very much, and he says he's done with Shanks, you know, and ends up leaving. But Shanks becomes very solemn and quiet about it because, you know, whatever the reason is, is like, um, it must be hard for Shanks too, you know? I'm pretty sure of it. Even Beckman himself, like, um, cannot really say anything, you know? Etc. Then, you know, throughout the time, we get to see something about Elgia or something. El El Elagia or Elagia, you know? Elegia seems to be like some kind of important like um what you may call it um location and I think it could be related to film red. No, it is actually related to film red. We don't really know, but one thing for sure is that like, it was said that red haired Shanks is the one that destroyed that place, you know? That's another thing too that's very scary at the same time, you know, because we all know how red haired Shanks is. He's a laid back kind of guy, he doesn't like to cause a lot of trouble, but from here, from what we understand and know, is like um he is rumored to be the guy who destroyed Elgia or El El Elgia or Elgia, you know, etc. And even Shanks and Sengoku are talking about it, and and Garp is wondering, is this really even true to begin with, you know? And even right now, Sengoku's thinking in his mind like um yeah, I bet Roger must be crying right now because of of what you did, Shanks, and. It looks like to me Sengoku, despite despite Roger being a pirate king and all that, Sengoku actually might respect must have respected Roger or know Roger enough that Roger might be disappointed in Shanks if he really did this, you know, that kind of thing. Eventually we get to see Luffy getting punked on or beaten up by the bandit part by bandits when Uta and Luffy fought them off themselves when they were younger, you know. Which I thought was pretty cool and nice, you know. They end up having to like um Fought them off and they end up having to like uh, run away. Eventually Luffy gets beaten up very badly about it, you know. And we have to it that Luffy remembers the words where he talked to Beckman, you know. Where Beckman tells Luffy and gets him to understand that what happened between Shanks and Uta is something they can't talk about, you know. No matter what happened, you know, etc. We have to it eventually like um, Beckman will save Luffy from the bandits that was beating him up. Telling them get lost or you're going to get your hands w busted with my hands. Oh, you're going to get your heads busted by my hands, you know? Eventually, Luffy is later on picked up by Beckman, and Luffy tells Beckman that he wants to be very strong, you know? And he ends up crying over Lu Uta's, like, um, Uta's loss or Uta leaving, leaving, you know, knowing that he can't really see her again. And it's understandable. When you have a very good friend and you hang out with them, you know, you want to see them again, you know, that kind of thing. It's only natural, but when they're gone, you know, it's only going to be very devastating from here on out, you know? Eventually, um, as time continues on, you know, Luffy therefore asks Shanks, hey, let me on your ship kind of thing, you know, etc. And that, like, um, Shanks says, no, I thought you were done with me. But Luffy's like, 
you know what what happened between you and Uta is that is that business so I understand I'm not done with you although I'm a crazy idiot <laughs> eventually Mikhail decides to give Luffy something to eat and Luffy's like hey I'll pay you back with some treasure in the future so you wait for that okay and then we had to and Shanks decide to give Luffy a freaking like a um, little tiny flag on the food like um as a token of his maturity but that was a way to tease him and Luffy's like hey how dare you and then everyone started laughing and he says hey shut up don't you dare laugh at me you know kind of thing I thought it was pretty cool here and there but eventually towards the very end of the episode you know we have to it that the, there's a scene with the girl say having to like um talk about Shanks and that they can't ignore this any longer then we go back to present time towards the end where Luffy and the others wants to go to El, El Jaya or El Gaia you know Allegia, whatever the place is called, you know, to hear the singing of someone. And that is Uta herself. It looks like to me she has, like, um, a big goal when it comes to singing, you know. It seems like she wants to change the world with her singing voice, you know, which I don't know how that's going to play out. But one thing for certain is that this is her first time going live here and there. And then we get to see a scene where, like, um, Uta looks back of how, like, um, Uta, where she is now compared to how she was young when she was with Shanks, you know. And then we had to it eventually, and uh, we get to see an ending scene where Shanks getting ready to go into action, and he has a very like um, angered or annoyed or like solemn expression ready to ready to go into like um, going to going to battle or something, you know. And then preview next episode is called the Captain's Log of the Le the Captain's Log of the Legend Redhead Shanks, and it's being narrated by freaking like um, Kobe himself wanting to be a Navy admiral, you know. And at the same time, it might conclude the filler of like, um, well, I don't think it will conclude the filler, I believe. I think there might, there might be more along the way. I don't know. But one thing was sure, certain is that the ending of that filler shows Shanks giving Luffy a straw hat, which may conclude like Luffy's story arc as a childhood, you know, of what happened in the beginning. You guys get the cue. I mean, like, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the next, ep next, ep next episode and the ones after that, hopefully. I mean, like, um, I don't know when we're going to go back into Wano, but it's going to take a while. So, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off as little. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot!